What's up, it's Skidaro here, and welcome back to more Kirby Superstar! In the last episode, we started Dynablade, and in this episode, we're hopefully gonna finish it. Now, I did a more, little more research before this episode started, and this level's called Peanut Plains, this one is called Mallow Castle, and this next level's called Coco Cave, so, let's get started! Alright, now I could suck up that Knuckle Joe and actually uh, explain its abilities, but I feel like Hammer didn't give enough screen time, so I'm just gonna do that right now. Like, what I'm planning to do is like give each Billy like its fair amount of screen time before I explain another one. So, right here, what Hammer basically does, like I said before, it's considered like the most powerful ability in the game. You press Y to do a hammer swing right there. You press Y in the air to do like a full hammer swing. Let's see, you rush with a uh, hammer and press Y and do that hammer spin right here. Let's see, and actually press down, then you press down and Y. Okay, not that. Okay, press up and Y. You do what's called hammer flip. That's considered the most powerful move in the game. It's slow to do, but it's way worth it. Anyway, let's actually, no. Now that I'm done explaining uh, Hammer Kirby, actually, what you could do is that. I tried to pull, I tried to do this uh, in the last episode, but I couldn't. But let me try to see if I can do it now. Let's see. Let's press Y. I, I swear I could do it before. I don't know. Like you can press X while rush uh, dashing and throw your hammer. I don't know. Like maybe that's just for the remake. I don't know. Anyway, let's just give uh, uh Knuckle Joe bonkers. Anyway, <laughs> give Knuckle Joe bonkers. Yeah, that's a complete sense right here. Naturally, we just pass a new copy ability right here just to make it respawn. Where is it? Oh, actually, no. There's one over here. Let's see. Let's get rid of that guy right here. Here it is. This is Plasma Kirby. Now, Plasma Kirby, it's more or less like the conventional Kirby uh, uh, copy abilities. Like, you press Y, it just does that. However, what's different about this is that the power of this move depends on how much you charge it. How do you charge it? Just by moving around. It's actually easier in uh, the virtual console version because you have the uh, joystick to do it with. So, let me explain. I'll just pause and see what it could do. Let's see. No charge equals a plasma missile. I mean, needle. Let's see. Slight power means plasma arrow. Let's see. Medium power equals plasma spark. Let's see. High power is plasma laser. And full power is plasma wave cannon. That is cool. So, let's just charge it all the way up here just to show. Okay, I did not want to exit that room. Let's not do that. Let's see, just gonna do right here. Just get that maximum tomato because I really need it. Let's see, just charge it up right here and bam! That's it. Let's see. Come here, bunkers. I want that extra life view. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get position and there we go. That's teamwork. If I didn't say it's over right there. Speaking about teamwork, like I've started to say this in the last episode, but this is a two-player game in which uh, the first player can play as uh, Kirby and the second player can play as the. Uh, Helper. So yeah, that's cool. Let's, see, let's get rid of this uh, Grizzo right here. I like his name, Grizzo. It's like a bear and a tiger with a headband. Anyway, right here we get introduced to Wind in this game. Now, Wind, like it's not gonna do much here, but sometimes Wind can really uh, damper your movement, like when you're flying and such. Like, see right here, I may be moving a little slower due to Wind. If we're going this way when we're flying through the air, we actually go faster. So yeah, anyway, I uh, just get my. Plasma. There we go. Plasma Wisp is the name of the helper here. Now, right here, if we swallow stone right here, we become Stone Kirby. Stone Kirby. Well, nothing really special here. All I have to do is just turn into a stone right here. Let's see. We just do that. If we jump in the air and use stone, we get this stone drop. If we rush with stone and press Y, we do what's called stone rush. I don't know. Now, the cool thing about stone is that, as you can see, we turn into different forms right there. We turn into a statue of Kirby, we turn into a eight-pound block, and we also turn into, like, the classic stone. But what's really cool is that there's three rare transformations for stone Kirby. One's a bodybuilder, the other's a statue of Mario, and the other's a statue of Samus. Now, out of the three, the bodybuilder is the most common. Now, I want to try to turn into the bodybuilder right here. Okay, right here. What's cool about the bodybuilder is that when you're... Like, when you're Stone Kirby, you actually slide down, uh, peaks right here. Now, when you're the bodybuilder, the bodybuilder actually changes poses when you're, uh, in Stone Kirby and you're, you know. Yeah, I couldn't explain that, le like, any worse than I tried, anyway. As you can see right here, if you go back up, there is a, uh, secret passage over here. I'm just gonna try to get to it and not to die. Now, this enemy right here, 
He gives us my favorite ability in the game, but we're going to explain that later. Anyway, just come in here. As you look right here, we see there's a 1-up right there. want up could be close to 1-up as you can, and once you destroy this block right here, as you can see, the 1-up drop... Wow! That is a total fail on my part. <laughs> wow. And it doesn't even respawn. So, yeah. The uh, 1-ups drop, so make sure you get that one first. The food doesn't, so yeah, that's good. Let's see, this down B with that, so we can go there. Now, what I said about... um. I'll explain that one later, is that, like I said before, I am planning on uh, showing all the copy abilities, but for the sake of me not confusing myself and not confusing you people, I'm going to uh, limit to how much uh, copy abilities I actually show off, because it could be really confusing anyway. I'm actually going to show off this one right here, swallow Mr. Uh, Chili right here, we get Ice Kirby! Ice Kirby just uh, breeds ice right here. If we press Y three times, we get this uh, little ice shield right here. We can also do this when we're rushing, so that's cool. As you can see right there, when we rush, we skate, so that's pretty cool. If we're near an enemy and press Y, we do what's called an ice... or not. Okay, I want to try to do... Okay, we do an ice kick when we freeze the enemy with our ice breath, so... Let me see if I can do this. Okay, we couldn't do it right there, but... If we jump and use Y, we do this little twirl thing. I gotta say, I do like Ice Kirby. It may not be one of my favorites, but... You know, it's still cool to see him do all these fancy tricks. Fancy tricks! Let's see, let's go that... Stupid Gordo! Whatever. Screw the uh, ice ability. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, anyway like, okay, sorry, the, yes, you sorry there. Some Poppy Bros do not give you Bomb Kirby. There are some Poppy Bros with boomerangs that will give you a uh, Cutter Kirby, so we'll actually see that in the next stage coming up right here. As you can see, these launch pads right here, you may recognize them from Brawl. They'll launch you from uh, one side of the field to the other. So let's just grab this Warp Star and get the fudge out of here! Get it, fudge? Because this is Coco Cave. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there's Knuckle Joy here. Might as well explain Fighting Kirby right here. Now, Fighting Kirby is pretty cool. Like, the power that Fighting Kirby emits depends on how much you hold Y. Like, if you just tap Y, you just do that little punch right there. If you hold Y, you do that big macho punch. If you rush and tap Y, you do that. If you hold Y, you do this. And that's where we get to uh, fight another enemy right here. This is Bugsy right here. If we do it in the air, hold Y, we do that kick. If we just tap Y, do that, do that. Okay, we do... Bugsy can be a little problematic. It's just he shoot bugs, he can throw you around. And actually, I'll explain off uh, fire earlier. If we suck uh, Bugsy up, we get... Suplex Kirby! One of my favorite abilities in the game. As we can see, we just throw enemies around. We just press Y when we're near them. And then we can do all sorts of tricks. We go backwards, we go forwards, we go up, down... Press A, press B, just all sorts of tricks with the uh, suplex. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, just... Oh, okay, or maybe not. I was... As you can see, it's kind of hard to get maximum without, you know, just resetting the meter. So, whatever. Let's just move on to the next stage. Which, you're not going to believe it. Yeah, you're not going to believe it. The stage, it's called Candy Mountain. That's right. Candy Mountain, Charlie! Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. So let's just, uh, defeat everything in sight right here. Oh my god. You know, I never noticed this, but, like, when Kirby's, like, beating up on people, he's just so nonchalant about it. Like, come on. If we drop down right here, just get a bunch of food right here. Now, coming up right here, there are branching paths that we can find. So I'll explain that in a later. Like, he gives you a copy ability, which is a pretty common one if you're talking at me. But, again, I'm talking about tangents here. Anyway, there's this way up here, and there's another way down there. We're gonna go this way first. I'll show off that other one later. But right here, as you can see... There's this peg right here. If we go up to the left right here, I'm actually going to give uh, Knuckles Row this. Turns him into Bugsy. This is the second mid boss we can have our partner be, the first being Bonkers. Let's see. This guy will give you Cutter, like I said. We go over here, we get Hammer Kirby, a copy pedestal right here. And we're going to use this to knock that peg right there. Let's see if we can just go down to it. Let's see, right here. There we go. Okay, not, not there. Holy crap! That's another one of the. Uh, moves that uh, Suplex can do. See, just go with all these cannons right here. Go with the cannons on Skywalker. I have no idea where I was going. I'm getting an extra life right there. If you go the other way, there's a way you can get like three extra lives. That's pretty cool. Again, I'll explain that one coming up. So, anyway, right here, we actually, yeah, enemy right there with a flying, hey, give you a copy of Lily. I'll make sure to shut it off and come up because there's another one coming up here. Okay. That one is, that enemy right there is Scarfy. It may look cute, but if you try to suck him up, he'll turn into this one-eyed demon, and it's not pretty. Anyway, 
Right there. Bird on right there. If you suck him up, he'll give you Wing Kirby. If you tap in, uh, if you just tap Y, he'll uh, do this feather dance right here. You also do, like, that head bump right there when you're going down, press Y, and down at the same time. Let's see, just go right here. I get invincibility candy. Bomb this wall right here. Let's just go up right here. As you can see right there, fly, I mean, uh, Wing Kirby uh, gives the Kirby ability to have wings and you can fly with that, so I'm just puffing up right there. Alright. You do the feather dance right there, you rush with uh, Kirby right, I mean, rush with uh, Y right there. Right here. Let's see, right here, as you can see, there's. Oh wow! All right, right there, as you can see, there's a fuse right here. We need an ability to do that. Now, come over here. We inhale Burning Leo, and we get Fire Kirby. Now, Fire Kirby is pretty basic. It's basically like Ice Kirby, you know, opposites right there. Anyway, what we want to do is just uh, dash and do Y, and we'll do that Fire Rocket right there. You'll need that to uh, actually reach the cannon right here. It doesn't matter if your partner is in the cannon or not, it just matters if you're in the cannon. And if you do that correctly, you'll enter an area with a 1-up, max mushrooms, and some more food! So that's pretty cool, we only need like one max mushroom, so, I mean, <laughs> max mushroom, max tomato, oh my god. I don't know where I got, uh, mushrooms from, I must, I must have Mario on the mind. Anyway, I'll lead you to the next area. Now, as you can see right here, there's a door right here. It, you may be thinking, like, it'll lead you to, like, the last area, right? Ha! Wrong! If you go here, that's where you go. To this second button right here, which will unlock the second secret area in Dino Blade. Like I said, the two secret areas count for your 100%, so you're gonna make sure you wanna get them. Now, this pedestal right here, if you get it, you'll get Copy Kirby. Probably, by far, hands down, the most useless copy ability in this game. Because guess what it does? Press Y, and. Let's see. It gives you the ability to get a copy ability. So basically, you're. So it's basically you're just training an apple for an orange. I don't know. They're both fruit, right? Anyway, as you can see, there's Tack right there, the enemy that gives us copy ability. You may want to be careful when you're near Tack, because if you're not careful, he can actually steal your copy ability and even your partner. If you don't catch up to him, he'll steal him forever. And as you can see, the stage is made up of uh, crackable rocks right here. If you somehow damage one of those bombshells right there, like I'll do right here, You'll reveal a bunch of lava, which is not good. Actually, you're going to want to bomb that one, because it'll lead to this one-up right here. Like I said before, this uh, game gives you extra lives like candy, so it's cool. Right, come on, bird on. Let's go to the next area. Actually, coming up is an ability I think I'm to uh, show off one time, but now I'm going to show off here. See this Mike right here? It's called Mikey. If we swallow him, we get Mike Kirby. It's a three-time use ability, so what happens is that if we press it once... That's, uh, the first one of Mike Kirby. Second one... <laughs> the second... That's the more conventional, uh, Mike Kirby. And the third time... This ball. This ball. The last time you see, uh, Mike Kirby. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's another, like, one-time use thing, like, uh, Crash Kirby, but not so much. And I should have sucked up one of those guys right here. Whatever, Stone will do. Stone has the same power as, uh, Hammer, just... Less ability. Anyway, here we have Mr. Frosty right here. What he do is just jumps around and will just uh, he'll also throw blocks at you. He also suck you up your uh, partner and uh, throw it back at you. Also you as well. Interesting fact: in Kirby's Adventure or Kirby's Nightmare and Dream Man, his remake, he was actually it's actually a misspelling with his name. He's actually called Mr. Frosty in one of those games. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we've got Bonkers right here. Another chance to get uh, Hammer Kirby. Just to beat him, and that's what I'm gonna give you. Or not. Alright, we're gonna get reviews for Hammer Kirby, because Hammer Kirby's uh, way better. So let's just move on! Get more food. And right here we have a double battle between two Poppy Bros seniors! I've been neglected to uh, explain Poppy Bros in the last one, but basically what Poppy Bros does is just jump around, throw bombs at you, and you know, just rush at you. Let's see. Ah, God! Poppy Bros! Why are you doing this to me? I don't want to die! Please! Okay. Get rid of. Uh, Give me bonkers. Or, yeah, give me bonkers. Give me bomb, Kirby. If I didn't say by now, bomb's like one of my favorite abilities. It's like my, it's my third favorite. My second one being a um, mirror Kirby. And the last one we haven't shown yet, so I'll keep that a secret for now. And, okay, not as powerful as I wanted to be, but we should get a lengthy uh, dismount. Okay, we, we reached number two. We should get like one life. There we go. I just gotta love the dance. So anyway, 
right there is Dinoblade's nest, but as I will show right here right now, if we go into this second uh, second secret area we unlock the Candy Mountain, we get the second half of the copy abilities. Yes! The first area had a lot of copy abilities. The second area had the copy abilities. The first area did not. And we have a bunch of enemies right here, but I'm just going to ignore them. So. Crash. There was a bomber right there I just defeated, so if you want Crash, there you go. As, actually, before we go to Dino Blade's Nest, I do want to show off that uh, second path you could take in this level right here. I almost forgot about it, too. Oh, my God. Actually, we're going to need fight. Okay, did not mean to do that. We are actually going to need fire for uh, that second route, so we're going to have to get it soon. Um, something I forgot to mention about bomb is that you don't want to hold the bomb too uh, long because it'll actually blow up and hurt Kirby. So, ow, chicken, you get bombed. Anyway, there is going to be a fire for where we're going, so yeah. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is come down this uh, waterfall right here, watch out for the Gordos right here, and then just bomb this uh, breakable cubes and uh, breakable bomb block right there. Anyway, nothing much to it. Ah! No! Okay. Sleep! No! I thought I would get bomb. Uh, whatever. Not that I'm gonna need a uh, bomb for what's coming up, like I keep saying. Anyway, as you come through here, there's gonna be more cannons we can use. Alright. And a burning Leo right there, so we're just gonna wanna. Okay. I guess defeat it, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna wanna aim, aim up there to uh, destroy that block right there, and then just uh, aim up again if I can aim right. Man, my aiming is so bad. Anyway, nothing over here, okay. Let's just keep going. Let's see, right here should be a burning Leo. Come on, where are you? There you are! Anyway, Fire Kirby again! Actually, I didn't really get a chance to explain Fire Kirby, so let me explain it right here. It's kind of, it's a lot like Ice Kirby. You press Y to just breathe fire. You actually, uh, you can actually control where the fire is with the, uh, D-pad. Actually, if you aim it towards yourself, you'll get to be on fire! Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, you dash with Y to do that burning attack right there. Anyway, you, uh, when you jump and press Y, you do this little fireball thing. If you do it close to the ground, you do that spinning rolly thing right there. Anyway, we're going to want to do this uh, dash Y trick right here to uh, not get hurt by the Goros right here. And come on, bonker. Oh, wow. He's actually, <laughs> he's actually too tall to come in here. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Anyway, that that is actually a thing. Anyway, there's uh, three lives right here, so, yeah. Anyway, that is a thing. Like, if there's one complaint about this game I have, it's the, um, the partner's AI. Like, for one thing, they will, like, if your partner's, uh, small enough, it will follow you through here. However, it will do nothing to negate, uh, attacks from, uh, these corners right here. So it'll just get damaged and eventually kill itself. So, yeah, that's, that's one thing. And also, if you didn't notice by now, like, the partner's AI is programmed to, like, attack the closest enemy to you. Like, it'll just face it head on. Anyway, it'll just lead us to this area again. So, yeah, that's one play I have about this game. Anyway, you may be thinking like, oh no, we're probably going to have to uh, go through this whole level again. Actually, no we do not, because once you defeat a level, go back again. If you pause, it'll give you the option to leave the level. So anyway, do you wish to return the map? Of course we do. Just press X. And now that all that's over, let's head off to Dynablade. Torture Nest. As the music here gets all epic and stuff. Actually, I am going to uh, go solo I mean, go solo right here, because, as I said before, like, the helper's AI is just programmed to, uh, attack non-stop, and I don't really like that, because I've tried to explain, like, what the boss does and everything, so yeah. Right here we get some, uh, copy as this is right here, but I'm pretty good. Actually, no. I'm gonna get the sword. So, now that I got that, let's go on forth. Take the warp star. To the nest. And here's the final boss of Dynablade! Dynablade herself! Anyway, what she's mainly going to do is just swoop down on you, uh... Produce those, uh, projectiles from her beak right there. She'll also stretch out her neck to damage you, like, right there! I don't know how that's physically possible for her. But she'll also try to, uh, grab you with her talons right there. Yeah. In the remake on the, uh, DS, she actually gets her own battle theme, which is actually just, a uh, Kirby's Air Ride theme, like, her theme of Kirby's Air Ride. She also appears in that game. And here... She comes swooping down right here, just get out of the way of that! Alright. Keep attacking her. Also, um... I DIED?! COME ON! I died on Dynablade! Ah, uh, that hurts. Whatever. Take two of Dynablade, people! 
Now I'm gonna have to make up more commentary. <laughs> Great. Actually, no. Actually, what I found, like... I don't know. Like, during the early days of uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, I find, like, my commentary has gotten so much better since then. And... Ow! Actually, you know what? I find, like, the project... Like, most enemies in this game will, uh... Produce star things right there that will, uh... That you can suck up and actually hurt the enemy with. So, come on, get out of there. There we go. See, like, right here. Ow! Like, right there, for per se. Like, right here. And now, that'll actually hurt more. Anyway, let's see if we... Wow, you can actually suck with those, too! Ow! I didn't know that. Wait, can we actually swallow them and get fire? Ah, I never even tried that before. Whatever. Go up here. Ow. Just one more hand. That'll do it. And, ah! Come on, man! This fight can take a long time. Especially if you suck like I do. Oh, come on. Where you go, land? There you go. And this should do it! Right there! There we go! And lazy animation for the win! And it turns out, she was only trying to protect her chicks. Isn't that so sweet? Apparently, Kirby knows what to do. Takes him to wispy, takes him to wispy woods and... Gets, <laughs> gets apples out of wispy woods and wispy woods like, what the hell? Oh man, it's hilarious. And then Kirby teaches him how to fly. It's weird, too, because, like, in the anime, Dynablade only had one chick, and this, in the game, she has three of them. That's weird. And we just wave Dynablade and her chicks goodbye. See? Everything's good now. I love that picture right there. If I didn't mention by now, I love the music, too. Oh, my God. It's awesome. And to be continued, which means there's more sub-games where this came from. And speaking of sub-games... After you defeat three sub-games, we unlock the fifth one, Revenge of Meta Knight. However, we're not going to do that next. However, we are going to do this one next, all right? So, next time on Kirby Superstar, we're going to get started with the fourth sub-game. So, see you then.